Welcome to Coach's Corn, everybody. I'm your host, Coach Paul Tripoli, along with Coach Mark Hobley. Hobbs is in the house. Thanks for joining the show today as we have special segment, The Bear Facts, coming up next. John Duffy posted this article on July 11, 2020. When the name Bear Bryant comes up in casual conversation, most fans picture the stern-faced, hard-nosed leader of the Alabama Crimson Tide with a rolled-up game plan and his iconic checkered houndstooth hat, commanding everybody's attention. The Hall of Famer was more than just a legendary football coach, though. Coach Bryant makes a strong case as the single most badass human to ever walk the earth. <laughs> At 14 years old, Paul William Bryan was six foot, 180 pounds when he was challenged to wrestle a live bear at a carnival. Despite getting his air bitten, Bryant was paid, wasn't even paid the one dollar he was promised to position when he won the fight. But he did receive a nickname that stuck with him forever. The best part is Bear was only just the beginning of this incredible life story. Coming out of high school, Paul Bear Bryant received a scholarship to play for the University of Alabama football team, where he would earn all SEC honors as an end in both 1934 and 35. In his three seasons playing opposite NFL Hall of Fame receiver Don Hudson, Alabama compiled a 23-2 record and won the 1934 National Championship. He was selected in the 36 NFL draft but decided not to pursue pro football and coach instead. Don't worry, he did just fine coaching college football. After several years working as assistant coach, Coach Bryan was in line to be a head coach at the University of Arkansas before the attack on Pearl Harbor began America's involvement in World War II. The Morro Bottom Arkansas native left football to serve his country as a member of the U.S. Navy, where he delivered one of the most heroic American stories you'll ever hear. During World War II, the USS Uruguay ferried Army troops to North Africa, Australia, and Japan. In 1943, the Uruguay collided with an oil replenishment ship, the USS Salamone, off the coast of Bermuda. When the Uruguay's captain ordered abandoned ship, Lieutenant Paul Bear Bryant decided to directly disobey his commanding officer and rushed to empty the fuel tank, shifting the ship's balance and kept it from sinking. Hundreds of people died in the water that day, while those who listened to Coach Bryant survived. Alan Bearer, who wrote The Last Coach, gave his account of Bryant's near-death story. Bryant, in the middle of a poker game, grabbed his canteen and gun and ran topside. There he found hundreds of terrified soldiers praying, and I was leading them, he said. There was an order to abandon ship. Bryant thought it was premature and disobeyed, urging others to do the same. The ones who listened lived. 200 soldiers died in the water that day. Paul Bryant was awarded the Navy Medal for his heroics. That leadership and courage led him to coach Georgia and North Carolina pre-flight military football teams during the war, and his coaching aptitude only grew when he came home. He returned to college football, won 91 games in 13 seasons with the University of Maryland Terrapins, University of Kentucky Wildcats, and Texas A&M Aggies, including the infamous Junction Boys season for taking over University of Alabama in 1958. Over the next 25 years, Coach would win 232 wins there, only 46 losses, six titles, 13 SEC championships, 12 bowl game victories in his alma mater. Bryant received the AFC Coach of the Year Award three times, and the award is now named in his honor. If that's not enough, Crimson Tide football team's current home field is called Bryant-Denny Stadium. Coach Bryant died on January 26, 1983, after suffering a massive heart attack. The legendary head football coach was laid to rest in Birmingham, Alabama. After his death, President Ronald Reagan awarded the Bear the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The legacy that current... Coach Nick Saban is writing in Tuscaloosa is hard to ignore, but you can't cannot discredit what Brian did during an era where social media didn't help you recruit. Players could easily travel thousands of miles to join the tide, and the game was vastly different. For those reasons, Coach Brian is still the greatest leader in college football history, regardless of what Saban does the rest of his career. Until Saban saves an entire naval ship from sinking, he doesn't have anything on the bear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do respect. 
Um, yeah, he was a badass in the Navy, too. Yes, yes. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for these messages. Don't forget on uh, Wednesdays, do what do we do? Bear facts on Mondays? Wednesdays. On Wednesdays, Bear Facts Wednesdays, Coach Trips Tips Mondays, Local Sports Report on Thursday. And uh, we interviewed a special guest for that. Yes, indeed. Sean Darius Elmo Coward. You hear his story on Thursday. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. There's a reason, reason why Hill Kelly in Pensacola is the number one selling Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer between Jacksonville and New Orleans. While other dealers have taken advantage of a competitive market with higher prices, Hill Kelly, Hill Kelly has discounted prices to the lowest of the year. And Hill Kelly in Pensacola won't surprise you with excessive charges beyond the selling price. Come see why people from Milton, Pace, Foley, Bay Manette, Daphne, Gulf Shores, Mobile, and beyond are driving to Hill Kelly in Pensacola to buy their next new Chrysler. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram. At Hill Kelly, the bottom line price and your satisfaction are what really matter. So before you sign, check the bottom line and make the trip to Hill Kelly in Pensacola to see what true local ownership can do for you. At Hill Kelly, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Highway 29 in Car City, Pensacola. Or shop online 24-7 at hillkellydodge.com. When it comes to bottom line pricing, nobody beats a Hill Kelly deal. Nobody. Are you riding around in a filthy vehicle? Dirty car no more. Visit Ronnie's Car Wash today to get it shining in no time. They have three convenient locations with another coming soon. The unlimited monthly wash packages start as low as $14.95 per month with free vacuums, multi-purpose spray and towels. Visit them in Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Fort Walton, and soon Crestview. Don't wait. Wash today. Be sure to see Ronnie's Car Wash on Facebook to see the latest specials and discounts. You'll be riding and shining in no time. Herbatrium Consulting for all your fencing, landscaping, pressure washing, tree trimming needs. Call 850-483-0350 for your free estimates. Serving Pensacola, Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Fort Walton, Destin, Perdido, Gulf Shores, Foley, and the entire Gulf Coast. Arbitrium Consulting is owner-operated, fully licensed and insured. Call today, 850-483-0350, the official landscaper of Coach's Corner. Hey, Bill, some game, huh? I haven't really noticed, Paul. What? The biggest game of the year? I've been looking over my insurance. Talk about problems I'm trying to figure out. Well, do what I did. Call the Siler Agency. They showed me what I needed and what I didn't. They even saved me money. Now, instead of worrying about my insurance, I can worry about the big game. Contact the Siler Agency at 476-7443 for all of your insurance needs. Your independent agent for home, auto, boat, RV, commercial, general liability, life, and sound investment strategies. Call 476-7443 today. So hard to get you in the perfect car. Looking for a better car buying experience? With a Step 1 Advantage from Buick GMC, Fort Walton Beach, and Pensacola, receive no-hassle market-based pricing or incentives by pre-ordering. Looking to sell or trade? Our dedicated team will even come to you. Plus, every vehicle sold at Step 1 supports local charities right in your neighborhood. Experience the Step 1 Advantage at Buick GMC, Fort Walton Beach, and Pensacola today.